Hey friends, um, this case is not an easy one. Um, I'm going to give you the trigger warning straight up. If you cannot handle, or if you're triggered by child abuse and torture, please do not watch this. Do not watch this. Um, if you have PTSD from this type of stuff, please don't watch. I beg you, do not watch. Please skip over this one. Um, with that being said, I am not monetizing this video at all. Um, I, I will not make money off of something this horrific. Uh, it deals with the death of a five-year-old child at the hands of his parents. Um, the other trigger warning is it does go into, it, there's no pictures, but it's explained in some graphic detail. Um, the situation, the living situation, um, there are surviving children, um, so it involved, you know, they talk about what they said, um, the situation that the house was in, um, they talk about from the medical examiner, what he found, um, on exam. So I beg you, please, if, if this is going to be a struggle for you in any way, shape or form, please don't watch. Um, I am in, gonna put in the link, um, some phone numbers, or in the link, in the description, um, some phone numbers, helpline numbers for, uh, organizations for, helpline numbers, um, so there's gonna be a bunch of numbers and websites down there, uh, Rain, um, how to report situations like this. Um, as I said, these, this video will not be monetized. I won't, they won't allow it to be. Um, but if you'd like to help support me, um, you can always, uh, join my, get a membership and join my circle of friends. Um, I am going to follow this case through as much as I'm possibly able to. It's out of Detroit, out of Wayne County. Sorry, Fritz just got up here. It's out of Detroit, um, so I will do my best to follow it through. Um, the other thing is, is this is out of the Detroit Detention Center in the courthouse downtown Detroit. Um, the audio is not the best when it comes from the judge and like the the public defender that's there uh there is a double echo it is awful i can't do anything about it i really doug i can't do anything about it i've tried i've done the best that i can to help reduce some of the echo um when the public defender talks he, they're very very quiet. So I've raised the volume up. It's still hard to decipher what's being said with that echo so bad. Um, the only person that you really can understand well is the prosecuting attorney. And there is some noise from the DDC, the Detroit Detention Center, from the mom. I will let you know that I do use bad words in text on this. Um, I have very strong emotions and very strong feelings about this. And you can only imagine. I'm sure. I'm No, I'm sure you can imagine. I, I think you understand. <sighs> With that said, I am not an attorney. I am not offering any legal advice nor putting forth any legal conclusions. All comments are my own. They're my opinion. 
and as much as I hate to say this, all persons are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I did not add any extra fluff to this video either. I thought about adding like some relaxing music and no, I, I can't. This just needs to literally just watch it. Just, I, I, there was no, I couldn't, I couldn't extend it. Uh, I have literally felt physically ill to my stomach while editing this. And yeah. So, again, I'm going to, please, if you have PTSD, if you are a survivor of this stuff, do not watch. Please, please do not watch this video. But it's important because it, that poor little baby no longer has a voice. So to me, this case is important. So with that, let's get over to Detroit. And I apologize in advance. I really do. And you guys, be safe. Show the people you care about that you love them. Tell them you love them. And be good to each other. Calling case, case number. number. 2335 People of the state of Michigan versus Shane Shelton. Council. Your Honor, Matt, on behalf of the people, P82796. Thank you. Thank you. Not guilty, guilty plea would be entered on your client's behalf. Former reading is waived. Ask the bond. Thank you. Thank you. APA, APA, APA. Thank you, Judge. People are requesting a remand in this case as this court is involved here. Under MCR 6.106 is a remandable charge for the felony murder charge. And Judge, as you're well aware, you can take the seriousness of the offenses and the likelihood of conviction in this case. In this case, the defendant is charged with not just the murder of his five-year-old son or five-year-old stepson, but also the murder of that same child. And Judge, this case, there was clear signs of on the deceased's body. There was bruises all over his body. Those bruises were in the shape of a loop, indicating that an object such as a cord was used. There was multiple abrasions. The doctor in this case, the medical examiner, stated that he had gangrene on his toe, his left toe, which I saw the pictures of. It was rotting. It was black. Um, and the other children in the home, which were interviewed, disclosed that this defendant would them, would whoop them. Would go beyond just that though, Judge. He would put them in their basement of this house, which is generously described as a house, more of a between an abandoned home and a construction site. The basement had sewage water in it, and he would force the children to go down there for some amount of time, even sleeping down there in the sewage water. We know that they did this, Judge, because there was text messages between he, him and his co-defendant. Specifically, those text messages. He constantly refers to the child, children as, quote, motherfuckers. He says that he tells the co-defendant what to do, tells her, quote,
quote the dog shit out of that motherfucker. And I'm reading from a document that's 813 pages long, which contains multiple instances of these um, instructions and also indicates that he himself was participating, in, which resulted in the death of his child, as well as the death of other children in the home. So, Judge, we are asking respectfully for a remand in this case. Thank you. Thank you, APA McPeace. Point of side point of representation of counsel as to the as community, community family, family and family ties, ties of one Mr. Shelton, Shelton as, well as well as the arguments made by the uh, people. people. Court did, court did take, a take a look at the, at the allegations, allegations and note and that they, they are the salt of on their face. Or well, or well, further, further note, note, I do not, I do not have a capious history from Mr. Shelton, Shelton no indication he's a flight risk. risk. Only indication, Only indication that he may be a general danger to the community are the allegations. Are the allegations. I do not have a, a, prior, a prior criminal history for him. I did have, I did an, have an opportunity to read the investigative report to help determine a reasonable bond in this particular case. Uh, in reading the investigative report, uh, the allegations are quite disturbing. Not only, not only the, the death of the one, the one child, child uh, but, uh, but also, also the, the alleged of other children, children uh, will not, will not uh, belabor, belabor the point the that the prosecution made in terms, in terms of, of the language used and the, and the text messages, text messages uh, between, uh, between uh, co-defendants co in this particular, particular case as it relates to the alleged, the alleged uh, multiple children uh, who uh, this court, this court is, is most concerned with in terms of, terms of their safety. safety. And even and though, though there's not a prior, prior criminal history or capious history, uh, this, uh, this court must lean towards keeping, keeping the children safe, safe more so, more so than, than uh, the liberty of Mr. Of Mr. Shelton, Shelton and Wayne, Wayne everything, everything uh, before, uh, before this court. court. The court does, does find that, that uh, these the children, children F, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shelton is released, uh, may, come, uh, may come into further harm, harm and thus, and thus will, will remand him to Wayne, Wayne County Jail. jail. Uh, the next, uh, the court, next date court date is February, is February 1st. 1st. Probable, Probable cause hearing, hearing. February, February 8th. 8th. Preliminary, preliminary exam. exam. This is this a, is a remand. remand. Um, Madam, Clerk, Madam Clerk, can you help me out? out. Is there, is there a, a bond redetermination, redetermination hearing as it relates to, to remand. remand? Okay. okay. So there'll be, so no, there'll be bond no bond redetermination, redetermination hearing. hearing. The next, the court, next date court date is February 1st. 1st. There's nothing, there's nothing further, further. We're all set on shelter. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good Thank you. Thank you. Calling, Calling case number 2305531313. People of the state of Michigan versus Valerie Lynn Hamilton. Appearances. Good morning or afternoon, Your Honor. Matthew Makepeace on behalf of the people, P82796.
Thank you. Thank you. We can mark them out the file as medical. We can mark them out the file as medical. Is there any particular reason for that, for that representation? Okay. okay. For the for reason, reason stated by, by Council, Council, Council Mark the file as medical, did you see? APA, APA in peace. Yes, Judge, we are asking for a remand in this case under this relevant court rule 6.106. This is a remandable case. The, as this court's well aware, you can take the seriousness of the offense and the likelihood of conviction into this case into consideration. Defendant is charged with felony murder and child one. And beyond that, Judge, there are, the defendant is also charged. With, that's based on allegations that were disclosed by other children in the home that survived. Um, the defendant's five-year-old son was pronounced deceased and had severe bruising in distinct shapes indicating that an object such as a cord was used to do this. Other children indicate that the defendant, Ms. Hamilton, was responsible and particip actively participated in that. And going beyond just um, beating these children with objects, but also forcing them to take cold baths in a house that had no hot water or no furnace, in the middle of winter, also forcing the children to sleep in the basement that was filled with sewage. You can see feces in this basement in some of the pictures, Judge. We also know from text messages that were obtained that the defendant stated, um, and I quote, in reference to, in a conversation with the co-defendant talking about their of these children, she stated, quote, I'll slam their head so hard their heads will pop off, legit pop right the fuck off. She also, and one of the uh, motivating factors was these children screaming. He agreed after the co-defendant told her to put the children in the basement. She said, quote, that I can do. Again, this is the basement with sewage water in it, Judge. Um, they are charged with mandatory life in prison offenses. We would ask for a remand in this case. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, APA. Of course, I first heard the representation of counsel and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the arguments made by, by the people, people as relates to the underlying charges. So we know that the charges are serious, serious and assault, assault of on their face. I do not, I do not have a tape history, history, no criminal history, history for Ms. Hamilton. Hamilton. No, indication no indication she's a flight risk. risk. No indication, no indication she's a general danger to the community, community other, other than the allegations she's now, she's now facing, facing which are very serious. serious. Uh, court, uh, court did read the investigator's report to help determine a reasonable bond in this particular, particular case. Um, besides, um, besides the allegation, the obviously, of the murder of one child, child have the, the alleged of children. Other children. This court, has, this court to has to be mainly concerned, concerned with, with their general safety. safety. And this court, and this does, court find does find that if released, uh, Ms. Hamilton, Ms. Hamilton may have some connection, connection with or ability, or ability to connect with any of the any children, of the children and, they and, they and they will be in harm's, in harm's way, way or in danger. With that being, with that being said, said, this court is going to demand uh, Valerie, uh, Valerie Hamilton to the Wayne County, County Jail. Jail. Next court Next date, court date February is February 1st, 1st probable cause, cause conference, conference. February 8th, preliminary, preliminary exam in front of, in front of Judge, Judge King. King. Again, February 1st and February 8th, there's nothing further well set, set on Hamilton. Hamilton. Judge, there is one thing further, and I do apologize. There, The information and documents submitted to the court are correct. I believe there's a typo on the register of actions that indicates count one is count two is count one should be felony murder. Um, that is what the magistrate signed off on. And I would just ask for that to be corrected or at least place that on the record. I have nothing further. All right, thank, All right, you. thank I you. I just have the, the uh, actual, uh, actual complaint. complaint. So I wasn't, so I wasn't looking, looking at the register of, of action, which has which count, has count one, one homicide, homicide, felony murder, murder. Uh, count, uh, count two. two. Uh, so uh, it's, correct uh, it's correct on the complaint. complaint. That's what's most important. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nothing further right, the world, world said on Hamilton.